Okay, here we the answer. Here we have the answer to this question about whether we have a problem in the intake with the combustion air or the venting. Right now, this thing takes about 1.7 inches differential water column to start the sequence, to close the pressure switch and start the sequence for ignition. Well, right now it's 152, three, somewhere in there. Now, if I take this cover off, okay, we're up to high enough pressure now to start. So let's wait for a minute for this thing to fire off or at least the hot surface igniter to come on. Okay, so it's gonna fire. Now that's because I took that cover off, but there's another way I can get this thing to fire. Now, back in the same situation, I have 1.51 inches water column differential pressure. Now, what if I was to leave this on and change something else? Okay, I just changed something else and got it up to over 1.7. Okay, you can see hot surface igniter's on. So what did I do to make this happen? Well, let's take a look. What I've done is I just have this little magnet up here that's hanging on to the, to the plenum. And I have moved it back and forth to get the right uh, vacuum. What the point of this is, even though, and let's go down below again, when I took that cover off, it lit. That does not mean my problem is in the combustion air inlet. It could be. It also could be a blockage in the vent gases. If the vent gas has enough of a blockage in it that the vacuum is reduced, and of course there's a vacuum here in the combustion air, and it has maybe a fairly high vacuum in the combustion air, and if we have a blockage here in the vent gases, that could also shut it off. Even though it would light, when I took this cover off, that did not mean for sure, most of the time that's true, but for sure that this is the problem. The combustion air is the problem. You could have blocked venting too. Now I hope this makes sense to everybody. Uh, it was just a little trick I did with one of my mules here to show that it doesn't necessarily mean removing this cover is going to tell you for sure what the problem is. Now, 99 times out of 100, it's going to be right in the money. But that last one's the one that nails you. You could have a problem in the vent. Okay, that's it uh, for this one.